When researching accommodation options in Japan, you may have seen this hotel chain before. Their branding is bright and budget friendly. But what if I told you that behind the scenes, Apa Hotels and its founders have a darker side to them, having been involved in a number of controversies over the years, from shoddy earthquake construction standards to their attempts to revise the history of Japan's wartime aggression during World War II, calling the Nanjing Massacre and the slavery of comfort women as fake stories fabricated by China and Korea. But before we get into that, who exactly is the man behind Apa and how is he linked to Japan's far right? Toshio Motoya was born in 1943 in Ishikawa Prefecture, and as the eldest son, much of his childhood was spent helping his severely ill father with their real estate rental business, which was previously a munitions factory during World War II. After working in the banking sector for a few years, he decided to strike out on his own, setting up several real estate businesses, no doubt inspired by his childhood experiences. His first big break came during the late 1980s, when he noticed that land prices were skyrocketing, driven as a result of the 1985 Plaza Accord that Japan signed to appease the US to devalue the yen. He made the smart decision to sell his real estate assets, fearing that there was a potential bubble on the way. And he was proven right when Japan's meteoric asset bubble finally popped a few years later in the early 1990s. But his real break came just after the 2008 global financial crisis, when there was huge uncertainty around the world's financial markets and banking systems. Using his healthy cash reserves, he decided it was time to snap up prime hotel locations in Tokyo on the cheap, transforming Apple into one of the biggest real estate companies in Japan overnight, and he became known as one of the savviest businessmen in Japan, with a net worth of $1.5 billion as of 2020. And not to be forgotten is his wife Fumio, who has become the de facto face and model for the brand, with her face and hats plastered across billboards, books, and even water bottles and curry, she became an internet celebrity and meme, further cementing Apple as a household name across the country. Today, Apple Group is not only the largest hotel chain in Japan, with over 600 chains in Japan and 40 in North America, it also spans multiple business units, from hospitality to real estate construction, but most curiously, a publication business. On page 37, he writes, Illogical things are being taught as history. Take, for example, the theory of the massacre of 300,000 people in Nanking. China and South Korea continue to make claims regarding the imaginary Nanking massacre and forced prostitution for their national benefits. After his successes, Motea decided to use his considerable wealth and influence to change perceptions of Japan, starting with a monthly magazine called Apple Town that he started in 1992. Motoya believed that Japan was no longer a nation that could be proud of itself. As an economic superpower post-World War II, he felt that Japan had lost all confidence in the world stage after the 1990s economic collapse. He also felt that Japan was not a truly independent country, with the US stationing their military forces in the country since the 1960s, and he even downplayed Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor. Pretends that Pearl Harbor was actually a United States false flag operation where they blew up the USS Arizona so that they could declare war on Japan and that Japan did nothing wrong. There's so much evidence to prove that's incorrect. Under the pen name of Seiji Fuji, he started writing a number of sensational articles to influence the public, eventually publishing the now infamous book, Theoretical Modern History 2, The Real History of Japan, arguing that Japan never committed any wrongdoings during World War II, specifically the Nanjing Massacre, one of the worst atrocities committed by the Japanese, and also the sexual slavery of Korean comfort women by the Imperial Japanese Army. As one of the biggest benefactors to right-wing groups, Motoya started using Apa Hotels as a way to distribute his viewpoints, placing a copy of the book in every single hotel room which was published in both Japanese and English. In a now deleted Weibo post from 2017, a Chinese couple, Kat and Sid, posted a video documenting their shock find of this book when staying at the hotel on their holidays to Japan. So when we were in Tokyo, we stayed in this hotel, APA, and this is a big chain. They have a lot of locations around Japan. They have a book that is written by the CEO, and in it he says that the Nanjing Massacre is a complete lie that's completely made up. This is in all of the hotel rooms in APA hotels. One thing that he mentions pretty often is the Nanjing Massacre. Illogical things are being taught as history. Take, for example, the theory of the massacre of 300,000 people in Nanking. China and South Korea continue to make claims regarding the imaginary Nanking massacre and forced prostitution for their national benefits. 
The fact that he is taking the money of Chinese and Korean tourists who stay at his hotels without them being aware of his political views just strikes me as disrespectful and kind of dishonest. I will provide support to the maximum degree so the Abe administration becomes a long-term government. The money from people staying in his hotels is going to support his political views. We definitely would have chosen a different hotel if we had known better. This video spread like wildfire and got over 30 million views in 24 hours, with the China National Tourism Administration calling tourists to boycott Appa and several Chinese booking websites suspended bookings at the hotel. Additionally, as Appa was hosting foreign athletes as part of the 2017 Asian Winter Games, the South Korean Sport and Olympic Committee relocated all their athletes to a competing hotel and called on Appa to remove the books. Although there was a fair amount of international backlash, and the fact that these atrocities were well documented, Motoya refused to remove the books, citing freedom of speech, and he was supported domestically in Japan, with Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, then Foreign Minister, hitting back at criticism, saying that the Chinese were too sensitive about this part of history. Motoya even boasted that his profits were up despite the backlash. <laughs> メールそれから、あの、in addition to his writings, Motoya has also used his wealth and influence to establish the APA Japan Revitalization Foundation that oversees a private school with more than 10,000 students, hoping to nurture them into future right-wing leaders of Japan. The foundation also hosts the True Modern Historical Views essay competition that seeks to reward writers that share the same right-wing views as Motaya, with all winners being close associates from various conservative and nationalist parties, like this controversial man, Toshio Tamogami, ex-military and member of Nippon Kaigi, Japan's most politically influential ultra-conservative and ultra-nationalistic far-right group seeking to revive Japan's former glory. Motoya was also close to former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, a man who also sought to whitewash the brutality of Japan's imperial past, and whose own grandfather was an accused war criminal that was never held to account for his brutal rule of Manchuria, including ties to the infamous Unit 731 that performed some of the most heinous chemical and biological testing on Chinese prisoners. Other controversies include Motaya's anti-Semitic remarks in an essay titled Japan Should Use Jewish Marketing Companies to Correct Historical Falsehoods, and several APA hotels were closed after it was found they were falsifying the seismic strength of their buildings. Nowadays, Motoya, age 79, has stepped back from running APA, though he still holds the position of chairman, letting his sons and wife run the day-to-day -day operations. He continues to write his monthly articles on Apple Town as of today, and fueling the rise of right-wing nationalism in the country.